Uh, good afternoon. Our task for today is to draw isometric drawing. So, we cannot draw isometric figure unless we have our orthographic drawing as reference because the, it is there that you are going to uh, refer the measurements. So, in drawing isometric, first is we have to draw our horizontal line followed by vertical line and this time we will not call it we will not call it as vertical line anymore instead we will call it as vertical axis so when you see the intersection of your vertical axis with your horizontal line you can now draw the 30 degrees right cross on the right side and the 30 degrees left cross on the left side of the vertical axis. So, as I've said, we cannot draw the isometric axis unless we have our orthographic because it is where we are going to refer the measurement or get, extract the measurement so that we can uh, produce the isometric drawing so in our uh, figure isometric uh, orthographic drawing i mean the thickness of the object is 4.5 so meaning you have to uh, measure 4.5 along the vertical axis then you can directly draw your 30 degrees right as well as your 30 degrees left or whichever is comfortable with you either you will draw your uh, vertical axis first depending on what measurement you have laid out first so i have here the measurement five centimeter which is the uh, length of the object and the six centimeter which is the width of the object so we have here our top view, uh, front view, I mean, and the side view. Then our problem is how to draw the top view. So what you're going to do is to uh, find the intersection of the vertical on the left plus the 30 degrees left. So intersection, draw your 30 degrees right. On the other side, vertical axis to the right plus your... 30 degrees right cross axis intersection automatically you can project of 30 degrees left so that you can now uh, locate or formulate the top view so i have to erase this so that you can see or analyze the picture clearly now this time we have to add the dimension uh, the data which is found in our orthographic on the vertical axis or the thickness of the object we have here our 1.5 centimeters plus another 1.5 centimeters then directly you can draw the 30 degrees left then on the thickness or on the width of the object we have our de uh, detail which is 2 centimeters and another 2 centimeters. Then draw your vertical axis, another vertical axis. So in drawing your side, analyzing the side view, we have to project 30 degrees right, another 30 degrees right. So if uh if we're going to analyze the side view of the object this is what the side view looks so using a uh, darker lines or visible line draw these lines so that you can now identify what is the shape of the side view
So, this is our side view. You may use your my gel provided that you are very careful in uh, tracing your lines so that your drawing will not be wasted you have to be very careful now i ha uh, currently i am drawing the front view so this is the front view partial so that we can create the first step because our figure is just like a stair so we have to identify the intersection project at 30 degrees right then on the other side you have to project at 30 degrees left then intersection you have to project a vertical line so that you can now identify the first step then uh, using darker lines trace this line so that you can identify the first step then on the second step this is our line so directly use darker line so that you can now identify the rise of the stair then draw your vertical uh, 30 degrees right then connect to your 30 degrees left and this is now the second step of the stair then finalize this line then draw your vertical then another 30 degrees right so that you can now finalize your stairs so this is now the presentation for our plate number two titled orthographics slash isometric drawing so as i've said you are not allowed to erase the plate lines or the construction lines in our isometric drawing